Welcome back, everyone. So I want to show you guys something pretty cool um, that I've known about for a while, but I've only just gotten around to trying this for the first time. And that is the Mac Palette 2 driver for the Image Writer 2 for the Mac OS. And this driver is available on Macintosh Garden and on a few other um, archive sites. It's a small driver. I mean, it doesn't take up a ton of space. It fits on a floppy disk. I had to download the, the SIT file on my Mac, move it to an older Mac, my bridge machine, which is an OS 10 one, or is it OS 9? I think it's OS 10. Um, MacBook Pro. Actually, no, sorry, it's a PowerBook. <laughs> PowerBook G4. And I was then able to unstuff the file and copy it to a clean floppy disk, and here it is. This is the Mac Palette 2 driver. I believe Microspot is the developer. Easy install on Mac OS 7, and it just replaces your existing Image Writer driver. So if you go to Chooser, oops, sorry, wrong spot here. Go over to Chooser, and I can, there it is, my Mac Palette 2 driver. And uh, anyway, this particular driver, it resolves an issue that is prevalent in dot matrix color printers. And the issue is, on a color dot matrix printer, you've got a ribbon that has four colors. Magenta, excuse me, yeah. you got your yellow, magenta, cyan, and black. It's a four color cartridge. Black is a color. I don't care what you think. Just kidding. Um, so what it does is it prints each color in its entirety. So the yellow, so lightest to darkest, it prints your yellow. It rolls back the paper. Then it prints your uh, your magenta, rolls it back. Then it runs cyan, rolls it back, and then black. Normally, on the standard Image Writer 2 driver, it does it line by line. So line one, it prints yellow. Then it prints magenta, cyan, black. And then it rolls to the next line, does it all over again. What that does is it shortens the lifespan of your ribbon uh, by causing a lot of um, uh, uh, color blending. <clears throat> okay, This prevents that or delays it. So the ribbon should last a little bit longer and you get a much cleaner image. I don't have the correct Image Writer 2 driver for some reason. So I can't demonstrate what it would normally look like. That, and I don't want to ruin my ribbon. I bought a whole pack of these ribbons uh, while I still can. So I have a good supply of the color ribbons. They're put, they're put back into production every once in a while um, through Mac Effects. That's where I got mine. I think it was Mac Effects. Sometimes what they'll do is they'll, they'll queue up a bunch of orders and then they'll produce you know, a, a significant quantity of them until they sell off. And then it might take a few more months, a year, before they go back into production again. That's kind of how it's been going. But I want to demonstrate this driver for you guys. Now, I'm going to... Oops. Tractor feed. Tractor feed. Never a good time. Um, yeah, these tractor feed printers... You know, if you didn't grow up in the 90s, you just don't know. <laughs> you, you think printers suck now? A lot of people put their rose-colored glasses on and pretend that there were no issues with these old printers. And I'm telling you right now, uh, they were fucking nightmares to use. Um, a lot of misfeeding, uh, the tractor feed would, would just go nuts. I mean, it was just, it was not a good time. Anyway... I would love to find an Image Writer 2 sheet feeder, but they're just unobtainable. So what you want to do is I like to have a sheet of paper rolled through in advance. Then I'm going to line up my, uh, my perf, the perf line. Where is that perf? Where is it? There it is. There we go. There is a little red line right there. Sometimes it lines up where it's supposed to. Sometimes it doesn't. I'm going to set my print quality to high. And all right, there we go. So let's go ahead and we're going, to, we're going to print a photo that I took. Actually, Amelia took this photo of the two of us driving down the highway in the Miata. So 
we're gonna hit okay on that one and here's the photo this is actually a scanned photo so i she printed these out had them professionally printed and stuffed them all over the house this is a photo i'm gonna take this was taken a few years ago when we were a little younger i'm gonna go ahead and hit print now the uh the driver options are um much more advanced uh, with this particular driver um, the screen looks much nicer in person. This is how the iPhone captures it. Freshly recapped screen. It's good to go for another 30 years. All right, so we're going to do um, continuous paper feed, color ribbon. We could do black and white. Not that it would matter. But. So not only does it solve the, uh, the color blending issue. Oh, and by the way, it takes a long time to run this driver, to run this. It really does. It, it takes forever. So don't be in a rush. Um, but it, it, it solves that issue, but it also improves the, um, the dithering, um, the dot dithering of the, uh, and, and shading. I'm going to just show you what the end result's going to be while we wait for that to queue up. That's a pretty good image. Now, if I pull the, ca pull the camera back a little bit, you wouldn't really know. Um, understand one thing. This is a nine pin printer. Now, when this printer was produced, this particular one was made about 34, 33 years ago. Um, by that time, by the time this printer was produced, it was already very obsolete. Uh, 24 pin dot matrix printers in color were a thing that existed. In fact, Apple had tried to release an NLQ version of the Image Writer 2, that's near letter quality. It was a 24 pin printer but it didn't really catch on. The nine pin printers were just reliable, okay? They were simple, they were reliable, and they, they did produce decent print quality for what they were. But by the early 90s, um, the technology was, was, was far well in advance of what this thing could do. Um, they just kept producing the image writer too because they kept selling them. People still bought them, schools bought them, consumers bought them, and they were a good quality product. They were made by C. Ito and, uh, in Japan. They were nice printers, and I've never had, I've never had an image writer not work. Um, so right now it's rendering the black. So it renders each color in sequence. Here we go. See, it rolls the image, ah, see, okay. So you're gonna wanna jump it ahead a little bit. Yeah, see, it's printing on the perf. We don't want that. So we, what we need to do is we need to keep that in mind next, if I ever run this again, and we're gonna roll the perf forward a little bit. Um, so just keep that in mind. Right now it's printing yellow. You can kinda see it on the camera here. Let's zoom in a little bit. They're running yellow exactly as it should be done. So the Image Writer 2, I mean, it was a stout printer. These things could run all day long. Um, and they were very light on uh, resources. Um, so the, the, the ribbons, the color ribbons had a very short life. And I attribute that to the original driver. Um, just ruining the ribbons. Uh, not only that, but a lot of people, like in schools, I remember when I was in school, a lot of our a lot of our printers had color ribbons in them, and we were just running black and white documents. It's not a good use of ribbon. <laughs> so now that the yellow is completed, you'll see on the on the uh, driver there it goes. Switched over to magenta. Now it just rolled back to the beginning of the document. Okay, and now it's going to print magenta. Now, in order for this to work well, the registration on the printer has to be dead on. There can't be any slop at all. So if the printer is heavily worn, you know, the gears are worn out, the stepper motors are worn out, the belt is stretched, you're going to get a lot of overlap and registration issues where the images that are printed on top of each other just don't line up. But this one seems to be pretty tight. <coughs> Unfortunately, I'm going to have to waste, I, I can't, 
it's going to be cut off on the top. But, uh, you know, it's just for demonstration purposes at this point. But that's impressive to me. Um, I've never seen such a high quality image come out of one of these before. This is the this is the first for me, um, but you can see it's starting to look like an image of us. Not too bad. Okay, now we're gonna see you're gonna, you're doing magenta right now. Oh, there goes the cyan. There it goes. Just roll back. I didn't capture. I'll, I'll capture the next rollover on camera. How's that sound? So after cyan, you've got black. But even before black hits the uh, paper, it looks. Now it's going to really start looking like a photo. So like I was saying, I mean, the nine pin image writers were technologically obsolete um, long before they were discontinued. And they were discontinued in 1996. And I believe most of the customers who bought them were schools and colleges. Um, because for the most part, consumers had already started moving on to things like image, uh, excuse me, laser, um, as well as uh, inkjet. The laser printers are coming down in cost by the mid-90s, and inkjets are coming down in cost as well, and they were a better choice for the average consumer. So here we go, we got cyan. Now you imagine, if this were a 24-pin printer, you would get probably pretty close to early inkjet quality out of it. Um, the nice thing about, um, about dot matrix printers though, and this can't be ignored, is the low cost of, of uh, materials. You can easily re-ink these ribbons, except the colors. The colors are a one-shot deal, but for black and white, you can just re-ink the black ribbons with a, with a do-it-yourself kit. You can't get those kits anymore, to my knowledge, but you can still buy the ribbons for these. Um, they're still readily available. And you might be wondering, well, what about tractor feed paper? Well, tractor feed paper is still on the shelves at Staples. I was just at my local Staples. I had to buy a, a cartridge for this printer here. I'm doing my end-of-year taxes and stuff, and I needed a new, pr a new cartridge for that. Um, and I, while I was there, I went over to the paper section and they had a case, one case of pin feed paper, um, on the shelf and it was uh, $84. You can still buy it, but it's $84. Let's take a look at the end result here. Look at that. Is that not a beautiful picture or what? And that came out of a 35 year old dot matrix printer, mind you. I mean, that is, that is impressive. Um, it may not look impressive, but it is. <laughs> it, it really is. Um, so I think we want our perf right here. And uh, we'll see. But that's, that's two images off of the same ribbon, one after the other. I'd say that's pretty damn good quality. Um, so there you have it. The Image Writer 2. You know, I'm going to find a way to hook this up to that modern day Mac because um, I just miss that sound you know anytime I want to print anything I want to hear that you know it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good sound so let's take a look at our ribbon and see normally on your color ribbons you run these once all it takes is one run and you've already got ink bleeding from one to the other so what ends up happening let me just explain this better the yellow will start to get contaminated from the black because what it'll do normally in norm when you're using the standard uh, color driver, what's going to happen is um, every line, okay, at the end of every line, it revolt it revolts it reverts back to black, okay, and that black ink which is still on the pins gets coated all over the yellow, so the yellow gets darker. And then the red gets darker. It, it just, it ruins the, it ruins the ribbon. Um, but this driver is still going to do it. It's still going to do that blending thing, but it won't be as prevalent. So just something to consider. But look at how, how well built this printer is. A lot of heavy, thick steel. Um, now, I've been on a kick lately. 
of recapping all of my electronics, uh, new capacitors and everything. This will be getting hit. 100% will be getting hit. Um, that's been done. The system unit, the monitor, the floppy drive, all been done. T3200's been done completely. Motherboard, display, floppy drive I think I got. The uh, Tandy 1000 HX, uh, the system unit and power supply have been done. I still got to do the monitor. Uh, my Apple 2GS has been completely done. Uh, monitor, system unit, power supply, everything. And I'm going to start working on my printers. I'm going to get them all done. I want these to last and last and last. And the only way to do that is to recap them because there is no other way around it. <laughs> got to be done. Got to be done. On that note, thank you all for watching, and uh, have a great day. Hope the new year uh, treats you well. Until then. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>